Hey everybody, how's it going? I am outside in the garage on this rainy, cold day. As you can hear the rain up there. And it's cold out. Yeah, this sucks. But I bought a couple motion detector lights from Lowe's. And they're garbage. And as a matter of fact, they're in the garbage. You know, they just had two of these little lights like this on either side with the motion detector. I took it apart. I thought they were 12 volts. I tested them. I don't know. These are the new ones I just got. So these are the new ones I got on Amazon. And they're $30 a piece. And I have one out inside of my garage to light up the backyard when the dogs go out there. And uh, oh my God, is it bright. Let's go outside and get wet. And I'll show you. Hopefully it'll trigger. Or not. Oh yeah, there it is, they're on. So that's how bright they are. And you can adjust these heads to whatever way you want to adjust them. I got it set on 10 minutes. So the light just shut off as I was walking up to it and turned it back on. But now I have to go and put one up on the front half of my property. Up where all my Trump flags are. To light up in case somebody tries to sneak up and rip my Trump flags down. They're going to be blinded by these lights because, yeah, these are bright. And uh, they come with all kinds of mounting crap, which is over here. You're supposed to mount them into a box and blah, blah, blah. I don't do that. I just run a big screw through it. Screw drops right down in the center of the hole. Sticks out the bottom that far. It comes with this little gasket thing. So the screw sticks out pretty good. And then once the screw goes in, they give you uh, this little rubber cap, if I can feel for it in my pocket here. This little rubber dust cap that plugs the hole so no water can get in. And then they give you some wire nuts. So basically that's what I did over here. I did a quick cobble coming through the wall. And I got my wire nuts. And I hooked up my ground and I have it plugged in over here. I think last time why these lights blew is because I didn't have the ground hooked up. I just hooked up the black and white and I didn't hook up the ground. So, I think that's one of the key things. If you're doing these lights, make sure you hook up the ground. Because anytime any like little voltage surge, it's going to trip them or blow them. Um, this is the brain box right here. Well, this is the box that's in them. And, oh, actually, this didn't have a ground on it. Yeah, this one didn't have a ground. So, yeah, that's just positive and negative. No ground. All right, so this didn't have a ground. How do you like that? That's probably why they blew. But this one does have a ground, so I'll make sure I hook it up. So, if you're interested in these type of lights... And these are like the real LED lights. You can see them in there. There's a bunch in there. There's nine of them on each side. And they're the pure white 5000K lights. And they are nice and bright. And I'll really check them out tonight. But when it gets dark out, when the dogs go outside, it'll light up the backyard for them. Got my trusty heater running right now. Woo! That's nice and warm. Stand here for a few minutes. Um, yeah, I hate this crap. Winter's coming. What is it in here? Oh, nice. That's 54 degrees in here. Perfect. Oh, here's like an example. These are my, my work lights. And these have nine of those little lights in them. Very similar to those. They're almost identical. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're bright. As you can tell. So that'll light up the uh, backyard pretty good. And that's why I got these. Is because one one will flood the main part of the yard. And then these you can just 
wing them off to the side. You know, because a lot of the lights, they just shine straight out. And then it's dark on either side of your, your lawn. And that's what's awesome about these, that you can just bend them sideways like this and light up the whole freaking yard. So, yeah, for 30 bucks, that's pretty cool. Um, they got the timer, they got a test switch, one minute, five minutes, and ten minutes. And then they got a range button for your max range. So if you want to pick up stuff really far away or close or the sense, I think it's more like a sensitivity. But I got it, I left it on max. I don't care. Um, this one when I put out by the road, I'll be tilting it down. So it's not picking up cars going by. I'll kind of aim it down so it's like on the edge of my property line. So if anybody comes onto the property, it'll trip it. And because I've seen motion lights, you go by people's house, the lights come on. It's like, how stupid. Turn your sensor down a little bit. But well, that's about all that's going on in here today. I might fire up my big heater and I might come and start playing with James's bike here. I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. I've been really pushing myself hard lately, getting a lot of stuff done. I gotta put another new chain on my saw because I don't waste my time sharpening these. I just put new chains on them. Chains are cheap. It's like 10 or $12 for a chain. And you think I'm gonna sit there and file away at it and stab my fingers on the links? Nah, I ain't doing that. And, uh... Matter of fact, I should have extra chains over here. Where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, look at this. New chain, huh, look at that. So I'll just throw a new chain on it. And then, I don't know, if I get bored some year from now, I'll, I'll sharpen it. I got the sharpener, I just, I don't know. My dad always sharpened his, and he sat there just goofing around with it forever. It's like, I'm not doing that. All right, everybody, there you go. If you're interested in these lights, they're about 30 bucks on Amazon. And uh, I think they're worth it because I paid that much for these garbage Lowe's lights. And after a while, the Lowe's lights start strobing. Blink, blink, blink. I'm like, what's wrong with these freaking lights? I unplugged them for a while, plugged them back in. Blink, blink, blink. They start strobing. So, damn it, I shouldn't have took this all apart. I should take it back to Lowe's like that, throw it on the counter and say, these are garbage. You know? Oh, well. So that's what's going on today. I'm going to put up this, when the rain slows down, I'll put that up. I'll put my chain on, clean my saw up all nice and pretty. And then I may or may not work on that bike. I don't know. Kind of nippy out here right now. So I'll let the heater run for a while. Get it warmed up in here. Yeah, it's, it's slowly climbing up, but it'll climb up really fast when I turn this on. I turn that on, it'll get up to 90 in about five minutes in here. All right, I'm done blabbering. I can't believe we are almost to the 1,000 subscriber mark. Holy crap, I cannot believe it. I have been on YouTube for years, six years, seven, I don't know, whatever it is, for a long time. I've got 800 and something videos on there. You know, if you guys want to go back and look through some of them, there's some pretty funny crap in there. And uh, if you ever get bored, you can scan back through some of my videos. I think the very first video I put up was training my cat to sit and shake, and he shakes left and he shakes his right paw and all that happy crap. So, yeah, there's a lot of videos on there to watch. I mean, I know a lot of people just come on, watch the one you just posted, and nobody ever watches the ones that you previously put on. That sometimes are some of the good ones. But, yeah, what do we got? 10, 12 more subscribers to go. And then uh, then we'll get ready to do the giveaway shortly thereafter, you know. And that's it. So thanks a lot for hanging out with me. This is what I'm doing on a rainy-ass Monday. And like I said, once the rain slows down... I'm running like hell out there to hurry up and put this on before the rain comes back. But Oh, hey, here's something. 
A lot of people don't know. You know these little fuzzy wuzzy worms, the woolly boogers. Um, I was telling a friend of mine about them. He's never heard about it before. That the colors, if they're black on the ends and like a lot of brown in the middle, it means it's going to be a light winter because the woolly boogers have 17 segments in them. If you look close, there's like 17 little spaces of fur on them, and that represents 17 weeks of winter. Now, if the first two segments are like black, that means the first few weeks of winter is going to come in like a bat out of hell. And then if all the rest are brown, then it's going to be like a mild winter. And then the last part is black, it means you're going to go out like a lion, you know? So here's a picture of one that I, I found crawling across my yard, and I picked them up and I carried it around with them for me in my pocket for a while to bring in to show the cats and. They absolutely wanted nothing to do with it. They smelled it, and they curled their lip and just backed right away from it. So they must have some weird smell that they don't like. But, yeah, here's a picture of the one that I caught. Now, there's two that come out. There's one that comes out, the Willy Burger things come out in, it's in June and July. And that's not the one. You don't count that one. It's the ones that come out in September are the winter predictors. And it seems like a folklore, but the guy who's been looking into this, and it's actually pretty damn accurate, and I've been watching it myself, and it, surprisingly, it is pretty accurate. You know, you can believe it or not, look it up on the internet, you know. Look up that the Willy Burgers can predict winter, and you'll see for yourself. So, when I'm done yapping, I'll show you the picture of the one I caught and, and released I put them back on the ground out of the way so nobody will step on them. And uh, that's it. So check that out if you're bored today. And uh, here's a picture of it. And have a great day.